Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and for my new subscribers. Hello and welcome. I'm very glad you're joining us. My name is Yvonne. In this uh, video I want to show you the finished two tall journals uh, I made with uh, the kit from uh, Shabby Cottage Studio, uh, Faded Grace. Beautiful kit, very large. That's why I decided to make two journals because there were so many uh, pages, beautiful pages in there, in the kit, that I thought, yeah, I have to use them uh, all. So I made uh, two journals. They are pretty much identical. The base of the journal I made off camera and then uh, I went on decorating the first one. This is the first one I made. And then I thought, oh, the decorating of the second journal, I can uh, do that on, uh, on camera. Maybe yeah, other people can uh, get inspired by it or want to craft along. Both possible. So uh, these journals both are for sale. The uh, more information is in, in the description box. There is also my Instagram account, uh, Facebook account and uh, email address. You can always contact me. Oh, I'll do it in inches. This is 10 and 3 quarters by 4. And like you can see, it's a, a real chunky monkey. I pretty much <laughs> could tie it together, uh, but a lot of items can uh, be removed if uh, if someone wants to decorate it, uh, if the recipient wants to decorate it on her own, or you can uh, use it as an inspirational journal and maybe put some writing in there. So I'm going to flip through this one uh, in a normal uh, Pace and I'll explain why this is a bit different. With the journal there will be a little ephemera pack with some uh, items included, some small items, but yeah the journal is so full it's just a bit added to, uh, to the journal. So I will put those to the side. It closes with a green sari silk and uh, I attached uh, a double flower uh, on the sari silk when it's tied down. I'll put that all to the side. This one I can leave here. Uh, in the front pocket I used a, a vintage envelope and made it into a pocket. This is completely stuck down. Just a, a label for a bit more interest on the back. I used the document binding uh, uh, Rachel from Roxy Creation, uh, Roxy Creations uses. I left the envelope open and in there is a little tag. And all these items you can see in the tutorial series uh, of the ephemera making. Inside is a beautiful journaling card. And on the back there is some room for the recipient to put on there, uh, yeah, maybe when she started the journal, what is the journal is about. Oh, this is the, the front. It's from the kit. Oh, I don't have to pull it up because it's too big, but it's uh, it's very beautiful, uh, a document uh, cover. I'm going to leave this here. A bit of interest. It opens up. You can really press it down and because it's a document binding this is a bit open and yeah it also um, uh, by that the journal opens very easily. It's full but it, it opens. These are kit pages. The images uh, are almost all from the kit. I made yeah, kind of a book bookmark and you can journal on the back. Some French uh, vintage book page and a vintage doily into a tuck spot and, oh, I have to show you this, uh, a Dutch uh, book page. Oh, it's a very thin uh, French book page, like that. 
it's uh, it's about uh, a winter book about uh, uh, plants and uh, things that grow in the Netherlands. That's that book. This is also from the kit. Very beautiful images. And I back them with uh, yeah the other half. The kit was so big with so many uh, page uh, pages in it, uh, digital papers for pages that I thought uh, I printed them out all, and then I thought it's way too much in one journal, and then I backed them, so I put half to the side, and when I decided to, to back them with the other half. And so in this journal, uh, yeah, there are different, uh, different images on the front, if you want to call this the front. This is a ready-made tag from the kit. I just decorated a bit with the old book page. The washi strips are in the kit and some lace. And on the back, it's backed with the uh, backing paper of Kelly's Craft. Uh, yeah, Kelly's Craft. And uh, you can write on the, on the back. A vintage wallpaper uh, pocket. This is a French book page and a little texture paste. I really love the, the script texture paste and it's loose so you can uh, move it around in the journal. This is also from the kit an image. This also and I also the, the ready-made uh, tag. It's also in the videos how I did that and it makes a flip out. I backed it so you can a lot of journaling space on there and some die-cut flowers and vintage ledger. Here you can see the ledger uh, more clear, very beautiful. Also from the kit, and I backed it with another page of the kit. This is my favorite uh, German font, a page that had to be included, and some beautiful lace, and it makes a tuck spot. And recently I bought these, uh, yeah, a kit with all kinds of let, uh, letters with beautiful images. And I thought this would go well in this journal. It's also backed with a soft pink that's uh, in this kit. Oh, I have to link that, uh, that kit also because it's, uh, it's a very uh, beautiful kit. The book page and here this card we made on camera also with an image from the kit and a label from another kit. I always put real stamps uh, on there. In between is uh, yeah, like tracing paper but this paper is in an uh, old photo album. Oh yeah, new. I think they still do. Uh, it's a protection sheet uh, in photo albums and I backed it with children's writing paper. And this is from the kit also, where she put some um, watercolor stamp, uh, samples on book pages and she made it in the digital too. So that's clipped on, so you can remove that from the kit. Beautiful uh, invoice paper. This is a, if it picks up, an embossed uh, piece of tracing paper. But I made it into a bag. I'll take this out because then you can see it better. And I backed it with the German uh, font page uh, because this is very fragile and to make a complete bag out of it I had to reinforce it a bit but it's, it's torn a bit there but it's not really a problem. I put a piece also from the kit, I didn't use this paper, but I thought I include it uh, in this uh, bag. Yeah, the, the top is torn on the different places, but... And these tickets were in the kit also. I used a few, but I thought I'd add them because they're in another journal. They can be uh, beautiful also. This was a kit page. And there was a blank space down here, that's why I uh, put the, uh, the back here. This is an image from uh, Shabby Cottage Studio, but it's a different uh, kit, a, a picture of it. I'll link that kit also. 
these are also in the in the kit I used from the book pages. So I thought I tuck these in this tuck spot. They catch a bit on the embossing, but that's not a problem. And because uh, the book page blended in with this uh, digital, I put this label on uh, behind it for a bit of a pop, pop of color. I hope it picks up because it's again very cloudy in the Netherlands. This is from an, an old embroidery book, a very old book page or a magazine page. And this is in the kit. Let's see. The small, uh, yeah, it's going over the lace, so that's really tight. But these small uh, paper clips are so strong. No, I think it's, <laughs> it's hanging on there. I'll fix that later. The ready-made uh, envelope I just decorated a bit extra with a stamp and a label and some lace. It closes with Velcro. I didn't put anything in there. The recipient can put her journaling in there. I'll do that later. This is from the kit a receipt uh, page. Beautiful. Maybe I can put my table a bit higher. Oh, that's the wrong way. Yeah, that's better. Here on the digital page I made uh, from wallpaper a flip down. And it's a uh, yeah, beautiful backing paper. And here the script uh, texture paste and it closes under there. And the recipient can uh, write all over. Vintage music sheet and because they are very long, I flip them over to this side, put some piece of uh, the kit on there because it matches everything that's in here. This is a little bundle of all different papers. This, you can slide it off, but it closes with Velcro. It's uh, from another kit from uh, Shabby Cottage Studio and I enlarged an image and, and yeah, cut it down and then enlarge it to make a belly band, but you can always uh, back it if, if the recipient wants to use it differently, when she uses up these papers, you can back it and uh, make it into a bookmark. Very beautiful. So that closes like that. And in here, a beautiful image of this sweet girl. And in here, this is uh, rag paper. Very beautiful and very, yeah, textural. Very beautiful page. This is Dutch. This is a German uh, receipt. And French book page. Um, check. I had to uh, fold it a bit. Check. And this is a English book page, but very old, very thin paper, all to be used in this journal or another one, and a railway uh, receipt, and it all goes folded in like that. I'm going to uh, make it nice again the way it was, and that all tucks in here in the large pocket. Kit page, this side also. Double belly band, a crochet belly band. I saw that from uh, Roxy Creations also. And this is a very old magazine page, uh, a ladies magazine. And there were all kinds of um, articles in here about household things, about gardening, uh, sewing patterns, embroidery patterns, all kinds of things. Uh, this is not an original letter, but uh, a copy. But I really love this script of the of the letter. Very beautiful, so I had to include it. It's printed on very thin paper to yeah make it look old. Some Swiss eyelid or French eyelid, I never know what to call it. 
And the little tag, it's also included in the kit. I backed it with script. And in here, a piece of uh, leftover um, digital from the kit. I put it in here, beautiful color. And the envelope was also ready made in the kit. I just put a real stamp on it. These are in the kit also. And I use them to uh, put the flap of the envelope behind. And in there is a little journaling card that was included uh, in the kit with this envelope. So for journaling space. Also the kit page, I really love this page. And a backing paper also, again, a beautiful lady there. This is dictionary, a kind of a dictionary uh, page, but, oh no, it's from the magazine, sorry. The center is a magazine page, but I uh, digitalized that because it's too big. And now I can use it uh, yeah, more often because I really like the, the image, the girl's own girl's own paper it's called and there's an article on the back a lace pocket and in there a French book page beautifully aged in color that goes in here for some extra to journal with or to um, to use in a journal and this tag I made the image from the kit and the, the tag is a ready-made tag and I just decorated a bit more on the back, the sticker it goes in here with the double trims. And on this page, I made a, a double uh, lace tab because this is very thin paper. And yeah, you, you instantly have the feeling to flip this as one. And that's why that, I think that was a tip from Roxy Creations also to put things on there so you, you really see this page because it's a beautiful middle. Little flower on the book, on the magazine page. An image from the kit. Originally it was designed to go in an envelope as a journaling card, but I thought this makes a beautiful uh, belly band. Backing paper of the kit and in the here I put a calendar page. I folded it and put, it's French of course, <laughs> I put February uh, in here and this, it looks Italian or Spanish. I don't know where I got this from. Beautiful page because all the old fonts uh, look very nice and these I ha had uh, from my scrapbooking days, but it looks really beautiful vintage on the front side. So I thought I include that for some extra interest. Very thin lace uh, side tuck, very beautiful. In there, an extra piece of the vintage music sheet to use uh, throughout or in other journals. And this also is a ready-made uh, tag. I didn't want to add anything because if you put a picture on here, it would look strange with that. Or you have to back it completely. And I thought the recipient can uh, make up her own mind. A beautiful lady, again, to jazz up the, the script page. This is that copy I meant because yeah, look how beautiful it is. The stamps and the... Uh, uh, how is it called? It's not called a stamp. Yeah, I lost the name. It has a name. <laughs> and look, this image. Isn't it gorgeous? I really fell for these pages. So beautiful. And the, and the script there. Also backed uh, with uh, another digital. And here do I have something? Oh yeah, of course I have something not very wide. I glued this pocket on as another pocket, so you can put some secret journaling uh, behind there. And it's a pocket with a window from Roxy Creation. I got that idea from her, so with a beautiful tag and a little ticket there. And you can journal on the, on the tag and then, of course, put some journaling there. 
This is a ready-made tag from the kit also. And uh, it's, yeah, it's beautiful. I left it like that for the recipient uh, to alter it. Here I, that was funny because I wanted this as a pocket, but it was too short. So, because this is a flip out, I put some uh, paper from, this is a digital from Ruby and Pearl, also is that. But I thought it went very well uh, color wise. This is from, uh, this tag is also a ready made uh, tag from the kit. So I uh, glued this on here on the flap from the music page and I extended it. So I had a pocket here. I thought that was very clever of myself <laughs> and my German uh, font, oh, I love it so much, so I wanted to include it because I know a lot of people uh, love it. So that's there. And yeah, you can always remove these things. This is a very, also on very thin paper printed uh, a digital vintage envelope, I always love those. And this was a ready-made tag from the kit also. It was yeah, a normal width, but I just, the text was in the middle, so I cut off two sides, just the die pad flower and yeah, the beautiful tag. Sticker on the back and you can put some journaling there. This is a washi strip, a bit of, a, of the washi strips that are included in the, in the kit. I really love them. I, put them on different uh, places, I use them. In here, again, a ready-made tag for the recipient to decorate. I just put some lace on top for some extra interest. Also a kit page, beautiful, this design. And here also, yeah, gorgeous. This is the magazine page from the embroidery book with all the flowers on there and I put some uh, embossed papers, some different pieces in here in white, off-white, cream and yeah the book of uh, the packaging paper always nice. Some um, I don't know the word again not delicate <laughs> side trim and in there are some different things. This is a ruby and pearl but I yeah I love it so much. And I printed it again on yeah, kind of a newspaper uh, paper, very thin, to make it look uh, a bit more old. This is also the German font, but a, a smaller book and much more aged in color. Very beautiful. Let me clean that. And this is a postcard uh, from the kit. I just put the a real postage stamp on there. And on the back, also an image from the kit, and I just uh, put some uh, yeah, pearls up. I have to put some glue on, on there. This is an image from the kit also. So I'm going to leave that out so I can glue that a bit. Kit page, really love the blue. This side also very beautiful. And it's on the dictionary page, but in, again in the beautiful German font. <laughs> This is a tag I made, an image from the kit, also a real stamp, some ruby and pearl and some pool uh, stamps, love these, some embossing and on the back old book page, so uh, yeah, you can journal on that. This is fabric I recently got from uh, Paper Basis Journals uh, with a, a swap, in a swap we did. And I really love the fabric and because there's a mill on there, yeah, there's nothing real Dutch like a mill or tulips. So the mill uh, is in this journal and uh, yeah, I love the fabric. It's so beautiful. And some little embellishment again, the St. Paul uh, stamp. The German font. This is the digital. Uh, a label from Roxy Creations, again, beautiful digital page. The Vintage Ledger, I love that also, it's really my second favorite uh, paper. And from Printed Vellum, I just printed a digital on there, again the sample uh, stamps. 
this is a real postage stamp. There was on the digital was uh, a stamp, but I always like to make uh, yeah put on a real one. And this is an image from the kit. Inside, I used a very old uh, tag, and uh, this is kit paper, just a piece, and I put it around the back. And this is packing paper from G Girl. But it also again fits the colors of the kit very well. And it flips out all this journaling space if you want. And here you can see the beautiful ledger. This is also um, an envelope from the kit. Let's see if this wants to remove a bit easily. No. Yeah, a bit easy. This is uh, the washi strip paper, but uh, she made uh, an envelope. So the, the envelope is uh, in the digital ready to be cut out and folded like, uh, like an envelope. This idea I got from Creative Happiness by Monique. She put uh, some lace between the, the flip uh, that comes up to close the envelope. This is a, a beautiful label I just purchased. And inside, it, I always back my uh, envelopes with a beautiful uh, digital. This is the background paper. And inside, uh, there can be, uh, be journaling. And that tucks behind the label. And on the front, I use a beautiful image and some label and some lace and a flower. I'll put that back later. A French book page, a very old one, it flips out and I had to repair it also a bit. I didn't repair every tear because yeah, it gives also a nice effect. And this is a kit page of a kit image also. I just packed it with a um, dictionary page to give it a bit a pop of uh, lighter color. Really beautiful. Again, French eyelet, Swiss eyelet, I don't know. <laughs> Beautiful kit page, and I made it into a pocket. It's this wide, and yeah, it was wider because I was longer, and I flipped it back and glued it so the, the top is a bit more sturdy. This is a ready made envelope from the kit, also backed with packing paper and beautiful script on the back. I didn't do anything to it because the recipient can decorate it her own. This I really like. The French book page, put some texture paste on it to be used. And I'm going to do it uh, upside down because then you can see the texture paste. That tucks in there. This is also a kit page. Beautiful script and the Dutch uh, from the, the gardening book, book page, and this is a journal card. This doesn't really stick the hanger. I really like it, but it doesn't stick. The journal card uh, I made and on the back journaling space. I will put the hanger on <laughs> off camera. So the book page, and this is also the kit page. Very beautiful with the peacock. And that's number one. And then that's, this will go inside and then it will close with the green uh, sari silk. So I'm going to put this to the side, a bit like that. You can still see it. And this is how it looks when it's, uh, yeah, closed. The sari silk uh, goes round twice, and yeah, there's the flower on there. I thought that was a, a nice touch. And again, this is the same, but now are the pages that uh, were on the back of these are now the front pages. But this is the journal I made uh, the first time. This is the same, but now you see the swans. Uh, first and the castle was in this book the first so there are little differences the, yeah it's not completely the same and that's why also not uh, this pocket in uh, 
in this journal is in the back and this is in the front. So yeah, just minor differences. And now this card is in this pocket and I think in this one it's in, in a different spot. But yeah, it's all a minor difference. And because it was the same fabric, I had to choose another piece. And that was the mill. And this is just a beautiful scenery of a lady with her dog. The dog is not really. Yeah, in real it, it really is visible, but <laughs> on camera it's uh, mostly very difficult. The, here I just uh, put that on with a paper clip. Again, the pa beautiful paper. And here there's a little piece uh, left over from the digital. I included that here. But yeah, mostly it's it's the same. The flip down. This is also a backing paper in the kit, the French book page. With the, and in here there are a bit larger pieces, but just th three colors and an embroidery piece, but it's a digital. And uh, I included that here. Here, that beautiful envelope on the embroidery paper, this beautiful page. In this one, it's a bit more covered up. Here, it's uh, more visible. And here is that beautiful tag with the lady and the German book page. The music sheet. And in here, a wallpaper with this tag. I really thought it went well with this image. The backing paper with the beautiful lady, the tag and the German paper. So it's just a bit See how easily you flip it as one and and you you miss the beautiful I did this had that sticking out and this but it happens uh, anyway I put a little bulb pin with the sequence oh no not sequence with the uh, beads on there it's on this journal also I didn't mention it in here the same pages only this is March and a different uh, card, but it's also from the scrapbooking paper. That's a different card. This beautiful page, and here, th this uh, package of uh, papers, it's exactly the same, just this page is different, but the belly band is the same. I did this also, I have to glue that a bit, so it sticks uh, it's not going to tear any further. The music uh, paper here also again the flip out with the little tag and inside the same journaling card and here is the uh, the castle. Beautiful page from the kit in here the music sheet also the trim. Here is the little envelope and the Texture paste on the French book page, and this little flip, the picture. Uh, this has a top talk in there. It, I never found a page that, yeah, mostly uh, I do this when you can cover up the, the, the top side. And if a page on the top side is very beautiful, I don't want to cover it up with a top, uh, top talk. So that's why the embossed uh, vellum pocket is in here. And yeah, for that there was no room in this journal. So just little differences. The kit page, the beautiful letter I have as a digital. The kit page in here, the, the pocket is also different, uh, decorated because, yeah. I thought this went well, and in that journal I made it a different color to suit the pages. The German book page in here, there's that uh, beautiful image from Ruby and Pearl. And in here I included a very old uh, bag, a vintage bag. I thought that was nice in the green. There it is. This is the same with the label. Beautiful kit page. This is the same also on the ledger. And this also, it's on a different page, but uh, the, yeah, the layout is, is the same. And this is also a washi strip. 
skip page and here the envelope is on the book page and the card in the back. So that's the flip through of the two tall journals. I really hope you like this and this flip through got some inspiration. Maybe you want to check out some other videos where I make the ephemera and fill this, uh, this journal. And as always, thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel. I really appreciate it. I would love for you to subscribe if you want to see more videos and give a like and a comment. I would love to hear from you and I will see you uh, in the next video. And if you're interested in, uh, in these journals, please contact me and uh, we'll get it to work. Bye!